Welcome back to part 3 of my Alpha Server 1000 repair. A few more things to do today. Um, first one to do is to fix the battery in the real-time clock, or the toy clock as it's called under VMS. Uh, every time I start the machine up it wants me to put the time in, so obviously the battery's flat and I'm going to do the, the hack to fix that. Uh, then I will plug everything in and get deck windows motif running on the machine. Fortunately digital put their clock chips in sockets so easy to get out. Now these clock chips have got uh, the clock chip itself and a battery in the top. Uh, what the modification involves is you cut away the plastic where the pin is missing here and also here and that will expose the terminals of the battery and then you cut the one here and solder in a, a replacement uh, battery holder up on top. Okay, I've now cut out the two sections here and here. This is the positive end, this is the negative end. Um, I've now got to cut that track in half basically in there and then solder onto the bottom of it. Check the voltage on here and we're getting about half a volt which is nowhere near the three volts that you need so it definitely is flat. Okay I've finished attaching the battery. Positive goes out to this side the negative goes to the bottom part of the pin there. You've got to sort of split the, cut the, the pin inside there. But I've tested it with the meter and it's all good. So time to reinstall. Now there's the battery reinstalled. I made the holder slightly higher than it needed to be so it cleared the one next to it. And also I put it the whole battery holder to the one side of the thing so that it would it would clear the SCSI card that's right next to it. Well it turns out that uh, clock chip was faulty and uh, I couldn't get it to work. It just kept beeping at me. Um, so what I've done is I've grabbed another one off a spare board that I had and done the modification on it and put it into the machine and it works exactly the same way. What happens after you put the new chip in is the machine comes up in NT mode by default, the ARC console. So I think you have to plug the keyboard in, otherwise it doesn't show anything. And then you go into the supplementary menu, um, set up system, and switch it back to VMS. and start up the SRM console. So we'll start it up again now. And it looks like we've got the SRM console back. I've also had to change the console back to serial so I can see it on the terminal. Now one side effect of changing that clock chip is that um, the ease of configuration has been lost. It can see the card, it can see the 1740 in there, but I need to run the ECU. Um, I have the ECU on floppy, so we'll configure that. It's many years since I've done this. I believe you type ECU. It's reading off the floppy now. Okay, 
clearly designed for a graphical display, but it will run on the terminal, which is good. I think that's pretty much it. Just save the settings. Okay, it's detected the ESA SCSI card and it doesn't report any SCSI, any ESA errors now, so that's good. You're now going to boot the system and have a look at deck windows. Before you can get uh, the motif displaying on the VGA monitor, you've got to check uh, this jumper. It's out near the power supply. and that enables or disables the VGA which is coming out of this Cirrus Logic chip here so in my machine it was off by default so you're going to move the jumper to the on position once you've set the VGA jumper and the post runs you get a blue screen before it goes into deck windows Sorry for the flickering, I haven't managed to work out how to change the refresh rate yet. I tried the method in the manual and it didn't work. This is the new desktop, as they call it. icons down the bottom, the clock, calendar, that I think is a file explorer, That's the deck term, and the printer, the settings,
change area settings here. Change your colour scheme if you don't like it. Once mouse. Screen settings. There's a few different screen savers. Windows applications. Book reader for reading your documentation. of course like the new desktop, you can always log into the old one. And options, sessions, and you can go into the deck windows. your classic classic look deck windows. So that's pretty much it for the repair series for the Alpha Server 1000. Uh, got it up and running, got deck windows running. The clock now works. Uh, everything seems to be reasonably good. Um, I will have to try and mount the hard drive somehow. There's no mounting brackets in there, so I'll have to try and make something up. And I haven't tested the tape drive yet, but I'm not holding out much hope for that. Anyway, I uh, hope you found that interesting, and we'll catch up with you next time.